what's going on everybody it is k1 the collector here and today i'm talking to you guys about something i haven't really done before so really all i did was i had an idea right so badges i feel like we have been needing we, we need a more variety of them like i hope to see them in coming years but um like you so we know sting like a b dominates the game so does uh merciless opportunist heavy handed is a really good uh badge but I had a concept for a new badge. And I also like when when a lot of these things like point, you know, do a little cute stuff. You can see like where they got it from. They do it a lot in live events, but I kind of wish they did it more in their badges. So, but what the badge I'm talking about, the badge that I made up, my idea is called Olympian. Now, what that is, is that I think it would make grapple initiation quicker. So what that would mean is not an initiation. I should, I'm more like grapple animations faster. Now, of course, the word Olympian, if you don't know, I'm thinking of Kurt Angle, one of the best grapplers in wrestling ever. Of course, an Olympic gold medalist. And, uh, you know, he always brags about being the Olympian. It could also be, be, be nice to guys like Chad Gable, who, um, you know, does does all those kind of things. They fit all those. They was running. They was He was like, he was supposed to be his son and all that. Uh, that was Jason Jordan. But, you know, the, how Alpha, Alpha uh, the American Alpha was running behind Kurt Angle like that. I really think that that would be a really cool badge. So, of course, people that have this badge as guys like, a Kurt Angle card. We could have seen that in a Neon Horizon card that just came out not that long ago. I'm also thinking, of course, like I just said, Chad Gable. Maybe even higher. So, like, when you get higher, of course, like, a lot of guys are going to have that because that's just going to make them, like, elite cards. Like, we'll even give it to Roman. But people that you can, like, imagine, like, chain wrestling. Like, I'd even give it to Shawn Michaels, right? Uh, and even an early Shawn Michaels because... Uh, a lot of matches that you see with Sean, Sean started off a lot of matches, especially his important matches, chain wrestling. A lot, of, Especially a lot of guys back in the day, there was a lot of chain wrestling in the beginning. I kind of missed that feature. Like, it wasn't, but the, I wanted to see it reworked in the game because they did have it chain wrestling in, a, in past WWE 2Ks. I kind of want to see it reworked, though, because it wasn't really, like, that important. It didn't do much. But the Olympian th thing would go to people... Like that. I'm also thinking of guys like uh, a higher level Roman Reigns because Roman Reigns, we've seen him do some chain wrestling. A lot of the stars, a lot of the stars will have it. Not really power guys. Like, so Brock would, Brock would have it because, and I'm not saying it's only chain wrestling. I'm talking about even the guys who just do a lot of grappling moves. So you wouldn't, so guys who you wouldn't see with Olympian very often are guys like Chad Gable. I mean, not Chad Gable, um, Matt Riddle. Uh, more striking guys like that. Now, Matt Riddle has just a bag. He does a lot of moves. But I'm talking about Matt Riddle. Of course, you wouldn't see it in, like, Rey Mysterio unless he's, like, uh, a Pink Diamond maxed out and all have all of that. Besides that, you wouldn't really see that in them. But when you get to the higher tier, which I can't wait to see because I really just want to see the people just stacked with badges badges so say they were in my world Rey Mysterio gonna have Olympian heavy-handed staying like a bee of course his swiftness and all of that that'll be really cool to see but I think this badge would be a top badge in the game the Olympian badge because and I also think that it would make grappling more of a meta because a lot of the, a lot of times you'll see people win a lot of matches and they're mainly striking so especially especially on the online scene Grappling is kind of hard to do because right now grappling is a guessing game. When you grab somebody, you either press square, X, or circle. And you and then you got a chance to choose or guess between that. If you don't, you're going to get slammed. You're going to get Irish whipped. You're going to get punched. Now, some people have majors in their stuff. But another reason why guys kind of, especially people who are good, kind of shy away from that and focus on their strike attacks and timing those right is also because the grapple animations can be slow. It's been like sometimes you're playing footsies with somebody and you get them and they go like this. They go and like almost like a laggy kind of real hitchy animation and it's slow. It's over exaggerated. And so you can press, you can get somebody and press your grapple button before them uh, and they can throw a strike after you tried to grapple and hit you first still. The Olympian would eliminate that. They'd give them real snappy 
grab animations and things will happen really quick. You can maybe even give a boost to slams. I would I wouldn't be against it. But I really think that this badge could create a new meta in this game. I mean, even in offline, I mean, let's be honest. We're all mostly striking and punching people to try to build that to, to try to build that stun meter. So I think this thing introduces another play style. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys had any badge ideas and let me know what you guys think of this badge. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.